The patient starts by standing at the end of the bed with their gluteal folds at the edge. The therapist helps the patient lay back onto the bed while flexing up their knees. The patient is asked to hold their non-testing leg in 90 degrees of hip flexion to keep the lumbar spine flat throughout the test. The therapist stabilizes the anterior superior iliac spine on the side being tested, while the patient slowly lowers the testing leg down as far as possible. A normal position should be with the hip extended to neutral or greater, in neutral abduction or adduction, and the knee flexed to 80 degrees. If there is limitation of hip extension but the knee remains flexed to 80 degrees or greater, the iliopsoas may be tight. If the hip abducts, the tensor fascia lata and iliotibial band may be tight. If the hip abducts, flexes, and externally rotates, the sartorius may be tight. If there is no limitation of hip extension but the knee extends, the rectus femoris may be tight. If the hip extension is limited and the knee also extends, the rectus femoris may be tight.